Hey guys, how you doing today? So Launch has sent me a, another scan tool for review. This is the CRP123i version 2. It's a little 5 inch uh, screen uh, 4 system scan tool. Let's get this out of the box, take a quick look at it, and get it hooked up to a vehicle. So it comes in a case. Cases are nice. Got manuals. Uh, the scan tool does have lifetime uh, updates. That's the uh, cord to connect it to the vehicle. And then it's got a, a charge cord here. Charge port. This is the serial connector for the OBD2 connector. There's the back of it. So let's go ahead. Uh, I think this thing powers up by itself. Meaning it, I think it's got its own battery. Yeah, there it goes. While that's powering up, let's go ahead and get the cord connected up and we're going to go over and we're going to uh, hook it to my 2016 uh, GMC Sierra and then we will uh, see how it does. So while that's booting up, let's walk over there to the truck. Well, let's, let's, let's watch the little uh, boot up process. All right, there it is. All right, so I just hooked it up, and you can see that it's scanning the VIN. Detected a 2016 GMC Sierra. Let me get the, let me get the camera mounted up. So I'm going to hit OK. And there goes scanning the modules. Gives a report. And so the systems this will scan is the, the ECM engine control module, transmission control module, and also transfer case, uh, the ABS module, and the uh, supplemental restraint, your airbag module. So let's see. Uh, it is touch screen. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go into, the, I'm going to hit enter to go into the ECM. Uh, this is the M5U transmission. Uh, there are no fault codes. Let's see if it, what module information is, it'll have. I did, we're going to do identification information. See if it lists the software part numbers. And yes, it does. There's your uh, part number to the module and software part numbers. Uh, there are no fault codes. We saw that already. Let's take a look at the data stream. We'll just do engine data. I'm going to select all the PIDs, we're going to hit OK, and we're just going to see how fast it is uh, to update.
Of course, you've got your four-way switch right here that you can control it also. Once you kind of get used to uh, touch screen, it's kind of hard to go back to the other ones. Got your voltage up in the uh, left corner, 14.2 volts. That comes in handy. And you can see it's charging. So I've got it plugged into the car right now. So if you use this often enough, uh, it'll stay charged up because when you connect it to your car, it's going to keep the battery topped off. So let's go ahead and get out of that. I'll tell you what, let's unselect that. Let's, uh, I didn't see if it had any kind of graphing. I didn't pay attention. So let's go back into, uh, let's just select that. Engine cooling. And it does look like it's got a graph there. So that's nice. Uh, let's see what else do we got here. That's data. Of course, you got your freeze frame, event information, inspection, maintenance. So all the stuff that you you need in a budget scan tool is there. Um, if you had codes in multiple uh, modules, you could just hit clear codes and it'll clear all the codes. Let's go ahead and go into the transmission control module. Probably going to be pretty much the same same deal yeah read fault code data stream freeze frame so let's, I want to hit this home button and see if you know yeah and that should tell you all your uh, you know before you go get it inspection inspected all your monitors if they're ready or not Everything looks good. Of course, your OBD2. This will be all your generic OBD2 features. It's even got the date up there. You don't see that very often on a scan tool. So there's that. Uh, Here's your resets. So this is the uh, basically the special functions it'll do. It'll do the brake reset. I believe is what you're going to do whenever you need to uh, change the rear pads on a car that's got electronic brake uh, parking brake. Then of course you got your oil reset. You got your steering angle sensor, your battery monitor system reset. If you need to uh, change out an ABS module or, or you broke into the system and you've got air in the ABS module, you can bleed it with the bleeding option there. Of course, your electronic throttle body relearn and your DPF regen. Uh, battery voltage. Okay, got a little graph there and it's showing the battery voltage. Let me rev the engine and see if it changes any. It changed a little bit. Of course, you got your battery voltage, like I said earlier, in the upper left also. Uh, data. Of course, your mall. Should be connected to, oh, no, it's not connected. Uh, upgrade. I updated this the other day when I pulled it out of the box. Then, of course, you got your settings. And like I say, it is a four system, uh, I think seven special functions and lifetime updates. Anyway, that pretty much covers this little unit. Looks like a pretty nice solid scan tool. Feels, it feels solid. Uh, it does have an internal battery so you can start the boot up process before you even connect it to your uh, vehicle. And it does, like I say, charge from being hooked up to the car. Anyway, uh, this was the uh, CRP 123i version 2. Looks like a nice little unit.
you know if you need a little budget scan tool you might check it out anyway that's pretty much it for this video you guys take care we'll see you